Hey, it's Harriet. I'm moving from Sydney to Melbourne with my boyfriend, Ethan, and I cannot wait to go on this journey with you guys. Good morning, you spicy bean. Guys, I just love waking up in this apartment like it literally makes me so happy but i have been struggling a little bit to like actually get out of bed and i've also been scrolling on my phone in the morning which is like definitely not something that i want to be doing but i'm just trying to be nice to myself because we've just had like such a big life change moving and I'm, yeah, I'm trying not to beat myself up about it. But we actually have a sponsor for today's video. It is Manta Sleep. So this is the Manta Sleep Mask. And you guys, this thing is insane. This is what it looks like. It has these cups on the inside, which are completely removable and customizable. So you can peel these out and you can replace them with other cups. So I also have these cups and you can literally just slot them right in it's 100 blackout like because of these cups it literally fits onto your face so well and also because it has cups your eyes and your eyelids and your eyelashes don't get squished this is 100 worth the money i would absolutely purchase this myself they've given me a code for 10 off you can either click the link in my description or you can use the code spicy bean yes spicy bean to get 10 percent off i thought you guys would love that okay it's time to get up i actually have a package at the post office kmart was meant to send my chest of drawers for my cupboard here to my apartment but for some reason they actually took it to the post office so i'm gonna go and get that and then when we get back we can build these drawers and finally glow up this cupboard false alarm before we go to the post office i want to open a package that did show up to my apartment i am going through a moment a situation with my hair right now it's obviously very long but i think it's like so ratty but i've just kind of realized like through watching tiktoks and stuff that i really don't take care of my hair i have always used drugstore hair products and i recently went to the hairdresser she's my friend and i asked her like is it really that bad to use like the drugstore brands like ogx and like tresemme and shit like that and she was like yes you really need to be using salon quality products but she said they really shouldn't cost you more than the drugstore ones because you use less because they're more effective and also you can get them in like really big bottles so long story short i placed an order with oz hair and beauty okay so the first thing that i got is these Fenola shampoo and conditioners this is the no yellow care then i got the regular Fenola nourishing restructuring shampoo and conditioner i don't know why the shampoo is a third of the size i thought i was buying two big bottles but anyway since i was already purchasing from this website um we don't currently have any products in the second bathroom which is like the guest bathroom so i just got these shampoo and conditioners for that bathroom so that when we have guests over they can use these. I think these together were like 20 bucks. So cheap. Then I got an oil, a hair oil. This one just ended up being the cheapest. So this is the Redken Argan Oil. And finally, I've obviously seen all over TikTok about like rosemary water and all of that. And apparently, if you guys haven't seen, basically rosemary water apparently helps your hair grow. It's like scientifically backed. So I got this revitalizing hair tonic with rosemary speaking of hair guys i really want to do a hair change okay i either want to go i'm definitely going to cut it like this is just too long i want to go like this length i either want to go blonde i want to go copper or i want to go like a light brunette so can you guys please comment below what you think i should do it's time for another furniture haul and i am very excited. The first item is from Kmart. And let me tell you, this was given to me in the biggest box known to mankind for absolutely no reason. Like, for what reason is this a thing? That is the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. There was another package for me in the lobby. 
but it is my third chest of drawers for the wardrobe. I'm so excited to build these and I think this is actually gonna make the biggest difference to our living situation because it means I can get all the shit, like all the clothes and everything off our floor and have more space in the cupboard where it's tucked away. So I'm very excited to build this bad boy. I also got this little shelf situation. It's just a bamboo shelf for our laundry. We have a lot of vertical space, but we're not using it. So I thought we could utilize that space and put some shelving up there so we can keep like laundry products, towels, the iron, things like that. So we're gonna have a little building session, but because it's me, I did also get a few little items of clothing. I got this from a brand that I've actually never heard of. They're called Upcycle Clothing, and they kind of remind me of Hunter Markets in the sense that they seem to resell influencers' clothes. So I got really good deals on this little item. So I thought I'd just show you guys. These items are from the Mesha Twins wardrobe. They are twins. They're Australian twin fluences. Oh my God, is that a fucking word or did I just make that up? Okay, so I just got some little like summer tops that I can wear with shorts and jeans and that kind of thing. So the first one I got is this one. Then I got this top, which is actually pretty much the exact same style, except because this fabric like widens at the bottom. I think it's, it's a little bit more conservative, not conservative at all, but still a bit more than the last one. And then the last item I got is this little corset top. Love that. Love secondhand clothing. Now let's build this furniture. If you guys saw my last vlog, then you would know that the reason I had to reorder this is because two of the pieces were like wrong. Um, it was just a fault in the product. So I'm praying that this one is fine because I have gone to a lot of trouble to get this chest of drawers. Also the date is 11, 11, 22. So surely there's some good vibes in the air today. Hey, while you're here, um, everyone was loving your music in the last vlog, like freaking out about it. The top comment is like, Ethan's so talented. Yeah. Do you want to tell them where they can go and listen to your music? Because we need to support. Shameless plug. Shameless plug, but seriously, guys, so much cooler to listen to like independent artists. Hello. Yeah, if you like my music, it's online. You can look up Ethan Conway. You'll find, um, like I've done like a few albums and stuff. I produce all my own music, everything you hear is like me. I wrote it, recorded it, sung it. In his studio, it. which we need to give them an update on your studio as yeah. well. But all in his, he literally does it all himself. So yeah. please go listen and support. And also he's taking requests for covers. So I am. go over to his YouTube and ask him for a cover that you want. And subscribe. Guys, they sent me the right parts. Oh, give it up, give yes. it up, give it up. Yes. I, remember, I remember you trying to put it together and I was like, what the heck? Enjoy this time lapse and enjoy one of my favorites of Ethan's songs, High Love. <laughs> I'm just getting older, the world keeps getting colder, but I stay warm and I'm with you. When it... She is a handy woman. She is an architect, an interior designer, an engineer, a mathematician. Look at this frame. It feels like there's nowhere to go. We're falling off the edge. And the world that we live in feels like it's the end. We gotta keep our heads up. I love. We got time to figure it out. Cause when you're with me, there's never a Just like that, my drawers are done. These honestly are so easy to build, like when you have the right materials and parts. Now let's move on to the laundry shelves and build those. Cause I'm in like the building zone, you know? Here she is, guys. This is great quality. I'm 
very pleasantly surprised. This genuinely feels like better quality than Kmart and it was also so easy to put together. Literally, I just had to do screwing. Like, <laughs> lol. It was so easy. So let's now go into the various rooms and set this up. I'm genuinely so excited. Like, this is what I've been waiting for, is the organizing. To preface, I have zero bins, buckets, baskets to make everything look nice. But like, any movement is better than no movement. So definitely don't think that this is all just gonna be thrown on the shelves. Like, I definitely wanna make it look cute. But also, any tips, very welcome. This is the before. So as you can tell, it's there's no organization. Um, we have stuff up here. We have just crap everywhere. And also I'm really unsure where to put this ironing board. Part of me wishes we bought like a foldable smaller one. So we're gonna have to work around that. But in terms of all of this crap that's everywhere, I do think we can massively improve that. This has genuinely been something I've been wanting to do like since we first moved in and it's just slipped through the cracks, so. I'm very excited. The first logical step is to make sure that these shelves actually fit in the space. I did measure it and I did measure the shelves, but I don't know. You just honestly never know with these things and I want to see how tall they are as well because that will impact where I put things because I'm kind of a short queen. I'm not that short, but I'm definitely not tall. It might be that I'm not going to be able to reach the top shelf, in which case that can be the Ethan shelf because he's six foot so he can... He'll, he should be able to reach it. I mean, who knows? Okay, moment of truth. <gasps> it's perfect. <gasps> Shut up. No, I'm actually obsessed. I know this is like not a big deal, but I'm obsessed with this. Can you guys see how good that looks? <gasps> These are perfect like obviously there's a little bit of space on the side and a little bit of space in the front but these are perfect oh my god it's such a good height i can pretty much reach what's up here oh my god i don't know why i just love these so much and it's so nice to fill this space vertically okay so we have one, two, three, four shelves here. We also have some space in front, which is really good. And then down here we have two kind of like cubbies as well. So I'm not too sure what my plan is right now, but I'm just gonna play around. I think that the iron is only actually gonna fit on the top shelf, which is all good because when we use it, we can just grab it and like I can still reach that so that's fine okay it looks like the laundry detergent also is gonna have to go up here which is fine I might put it handle first actually because again I can reach and grab it so that's all good and then since we've got the laundry detergent up there I'm also gonna put our like stain remover back there and is that the most aesthetic no but is it practical Hell yes. I have this box, which this is full of medicine. There's honestly way too much in here. Like we probably need to go through. And I'm just not sure, like this does fit in here quite perfectly, but I don't know if it needs to be up here or if it would be better down there. And then this is more like towels and linens. I have decided to put the medicine here because I was thinking about it and this shelf down here is like bigger. It's quite a lot bigger than the box itself. Whereas when the medicine box is on this shelf, it actually takes up all of the space. So this space was not being properly utilized by having that box in there. Whereas this space is like fully utilized, if that makes sense. Might change, but that's just kind of what I'm currently vibing with. does not look aesthetic that just is what it is it's tucked behind the laundry door so I really don't mind like obviously would I love to be that girl with a really aesthetic laundry yes but it's just not the current way maybe one day anyway so what I've currently done is as I said before I've got all of my like my iron and the cleaning products up here 
This is gonna be spare linens. Um, right now we don't have any spare linens, we just have two pillowcases. So this shelf is kind of empty right now. These are our towels for the sauna because we do go to the sauna pretty much every day. So these towels needed a home. They just get kind of chucked around our apartment right now. So they have a designated space. And then this is the medic medical medicine cabinet that I told you guys about. I also tucked our tennis rackets here. Um, again, not super aesthetic, but this is really the only space they fit. So I'm happy with them there. This shelf, again, it looks pretty bad. But basically, as I said, we go to the gym and the sauna like every day and we take a bag down because you need like your swimmers and your towel and all of that so right now what happens is we walk into the main door and we both just like dump our gym bags in the kind of living room because there's nowhere else to put them so this is now the designated space for that so we have a bunch of like canvas tote bags that we can use and then also this one has stuff in it right now so this is hopefully where we will kind of Put them like this is the designated zone and then down here is our vacuum and the shitty thing about this vacuum is it obviously has the whole big thing so I might look into like getting a hook or something where this can look nicer but for now it just has to stay like this because it's practical and that's where it belongs this is like a hidden storage thing and I've literally just chucked everything that needs to be put away um, in there and that's the junk drawer of our house right now. And that just, again, that is what it is. So now, as you can see, there's absolutely nothing on top of the washing machine, which makes me incredibly happy. The only thing I didn't figure out is where to put the ironing board. So I'm not sure if maybe it's worth like mounting it to the wall somewhere, but we are renting, so we can't like really drill into any walls i need to figure it out to be honest but it could also possibly go in the spare bathroom I'm not sure we rarely use this sink um this will be the sink for like hand washing and soaking but we already have two bathrooms in this apartment so we definitely don't need everyday access to this sink so honestly for now the ironing board is just gonna stand in front of the sink um because yeah, there's really no other space for it. If you guys have any solutions to this problem, please do let me know. But for now, this is totally fine. And then we also just have this random like umbrella, which I'm just gonna pop next to it for now. Okay, this is the after. Again, definitely not perfect by any means, but so much better. Like I'm so, so, so happy with this. This has made a huge amount of difference, just having more vertical space. Guys, this literally could not have fit better into this cupboard like obviously some of the clothes hang down a little bit low but like this is so good honestly this has given me so much more space so now I need to figure out what I'm gonna put in these drawers so in these ones I have undies bras and socks for me I really like to have more casual things in drawers like um you know active wear and like loungewear and stuff and then everything else can like hang or be folded on shelves because jeans look nice on shelves but active wear doesn't anyway i'm thinking maybe it can go active wear tops active wear bottoms and then we'll kind of see what we can do with this drawer whether it's pajamas or loungewear under my bed here this is like absolute junk um and i mentioned this before but the drawer that's under the bed just like isn't working for me and you guys have given so many great suggestions by the way but for now i think i'm just gonna move as much of the stuff that's in there into these drawers as possible and then kind of like figure out the under bed situation at a later date realized my fly was undone the entire time so if you notice that I'm so sorry I did just change into these pants because um, it's so hot it's 
So in the top drawer, we have sports bras at the back and tops, like sports tops here. I know this is really annoying, like probably very annoying to look at and definitely annoying to use. I'm just going to have to rearrange the clothes above so that you know, the longer hanging clothes aren't like right here. Even if this was how it was, it's still so much better to have this storage space. Um, in this drawer, we have leggings and I know it looks like I have none, but a lot of them are in the wash. And I also have a few more pairs in the mail. And then the bottom drawer is like pajamas. I have two pairs of pajama pants and then t-shirts, comfy t-shirts. All in all, this is genuinely so game changing for me. I'm genuinely so happy with this. And also we have a lot of unused space up here still. So I'm probably going to deal with this a different day. Maybe we get like little pull out drawers for up there or something. I'm honestly not sure if you guys have any ideas for up there, let me know. But honestly, we don't have a crazy amount of stuff that like we really need to put up there. It's not a huge issue at the moment, but definitely we want to like use every inch of space that we can. coming down with me. Can she make it? I will report back. Success. That was hard though. I'm not gonna lie. Stay hydrated, children. I've just vacuumed um, the floors, I've cleaned the kitchen, and it's genuinely looking stunning in here. But now that I've done all of that, I kind of want to try and move this bar cart to this TV area because I don't know how well you guys can see, but this TV cabinet is actually centered to the wall, but the couch is longer than the TV cabinet. So I'm gonna put this off center so that it's centered to the couch and then I'm gonna put the bar cart in the corner and we'll just see how we like it, okay? And if we all hate it, then you guys can tell me. Oh, Jesus. So now this is centered to the couch, not to the wall. And then I'm gonna try and put the bar cart here. It might look terrible, but let's see. Okay, I'm thinking like on an angle. I think this needs to come this way a bit more. I think I love it. I was just sitting on the couch and like, this is actually centered to the couch now. And also, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I put a lamp behind the TV. So it gives this like glow to the TV. Eventually I'd love to get those LED light strips that you can attach to the back of your TV. But for now, why is that kind of a schmood? I just need to hide those cords. Wait, I feel like this actually looks really good. Okay, so this is now what the living room looks like. I'll sit on the couch. So right now I'm literally sitting in the center of the couch. So I've got the L to my left and then like space here to the right. And so I do think the TV is centered, which is nice. And then you have the little bar card. Okay, I'm gonna keep it like this for now. Obviously I'm gonna show Ethan, but we might like sit with it for a few days, see how we like it. I think it's made the living room feel a bit more connected to this area which I quite like. And also for me, a bar cart makes more sense in the living room rather than in the kitchen or like right by the kitchen. It's such a stunning piece of furniture. I don't want it to be like tucked away next to my desk. Like it just, 
it looked really messy before and I think it looks quite cute like I feel like this is maybe a schmood and also what it's done is it's cleared this whole area which for me just looked so cluttered before obviously just ignore the shit on the ground but now you just have the island and then you have my desk obviously I'm gonna like figure out how to glow up this area um, I don't know what we can do maybe like a plant there or just something to kind of break up this bit I feel like a plant here would be really nice like quite a big one like a tree vibe to break up these two areas but it's just so much less cluttered over here now. I really had an issue with the way that when the bar cart was here and obviously there's like stuff up here. It just, that's just the way that our kitchen needs to be. Like we need to have dishes and stuff up here. And then also the backsplash. This just looked so busy before. Whereas I feel like now it looks a lot more chill. So I'm excited about this. I actually think for once in my life, that was like definitely the right move. But I would love to hear your thoughts, A, on the bar cart. Do we like it in its new location? And B, what do you guys think I can do back here to make that look cuter? Like, do we like the idea of a plant to kind of separate my area from this area. Because I've said this a thousand times, I know my desk looks kind of ugly in the living room, but it needs to be here. It's just what it is. So it's not about changing that. It's about how we can make the most of the space. Coming up, we have lots of decor shopping, maybe some Christmas decor shopping. Um, I want to go and figure out a solution to the bathrooms. Like I might get some pull out. Oh my God, what did I just do? I might get some pull out drawers for those little cubbies. Also, when we get our console here, this is just going to look so much better. Like I feel like it does look quite empty right now, but with the console, that's going to look so good. Thank you so much for watching. I genuinely appreciate you all so much. Like talking to you guys in the comments, it just makes my whole day so definitely say hi if you're new and i'll see you guys next week with a new video bye